Hello everyone, it's Robbie from Saskatchewan. I am trying my first video on YouTube. A little bit nervous, but what the heck? Let's go for it and try it out anyway. Okay, so I am doing uh, fluid art. Trying a few things here and there and see what works. Having some fun along the way. I uh, am going to try uh, using, I have acrylic white and then I have a magenta from uh, Liquitex Basics. I have the phalo cyan blue, I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but I call it phalo blue. And phalo green, it is from uh, Crafts, uh, Four Times Crafts, I believe. It's acrylic paint, and I got it at the hardware store. The other ones I got from Michael's. And um, in my paints, I mix them with Floterol, and just until they're the consistency of a liquid honey. Okay, that's just to get the bubbles out in case they have uh, some bubbles in them. And then uh, sometimes I get stuff that looks like that at the end. So anyhow, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm new to uh, YouTube videos. I'm a little bit nervous, as you can tell. So let's have some fun and see what happens. I'm going to... Pour in a little bit of the magenta. Let's try a little bit of the green. How about a little bit of the blue? Ooh, let's add in some copper, see what happens. This is also, uh, this is Liquitex, no, I think this is Artist Loft. This is Artist Loft copper, and I think I put a little bit too much in there. And, let's use up the white that I had that I put on my canvas to start with. And yes, I just used, um, this is just a cheap canvas because I'm just experimenting today. It's always fun to experiment and see what happens. Sometimes the magic that comes out of it is pretty cool. As you can see, little cells are coming out already. And I know the lighting is horrible. Uh, my husband's already pointed out that I need better lighting, so we will uh, fix that too sweet if this all works out. So it's uh, a long weekend here in Canada. It's the Canada Day long weekend. Um, a large percentage of the people here have the day off of work on Monday if they have an hourly job. If not, they're getting paid to extra to come into work, which is kind of neat. I'll do one more layer of color and then, uh, then we'll take a boo and see what happens. Now I did put in, um, in these little cups that I mixed up, a little bit of this coconut hair oil this time. Well, look at these cells. That is just awesome. And one more. No, I'm not going to put in any more white. And let's, let's give this guy a little travel. We'll see what happens when he travels. Um, I was watching, um, oh my, just pulling a blank. She's so talented to, to Gina, and uh, she's always saying pour, uh, tilt slowly, tilt slowly, and then uh, 
Ruska and uh, Canella and Anne Marie Ridenhoff and uh, they're uh, pour your heart out in Australia. She's amazing. I really enjoy her videos. So a lot of these women have uh, inspired me to try a few different things. And I thought, what the heck? Let us try a video and see what happens. I got impatient. Look at those colors. Isn't that awesome? So now uh, I'm going to do the torching just to pop any bubbles that has come, have come up. These cells are just awesome though. I'm just loving the colors. Let's see what happens when I tilt. I haven't had a lot of luck with some of my tilting, which is why I prefer uh, the lovely uh, Dutch pour method. It seems to work really well for me and I enjoy it. I know, kind of boring. I don't have any music on. I'm scared to death to play music after hearing some of the stories you guys say about uh, people getting really touchy about um, copyrighted music. So if somebody can explain to me how to put music on that's not copyrighted on these videos, that would be really awesome too. Like I said, it's my first video and I'm just figuring out how to do this. Look at those cells. I love this. It's coming up there. I don't like this. I'm going to let it go away. I'm too fast. So yeah, this is... Uh, I've been watching videos for a little while, seeing how you guys uh, do your magic. Learned so much so far and uh, having a great time while I'm doing it. That's the most amazing part about this. It's so relaxing and enjoyable. And yes, a lot of you, I feel like I know you just from uh, watching your videos. Such a great community. I find it so relaxing watching the cells pop out and seeing uh, the different shapes that come up. And then after my pictures have dried, I take them and I, I share them with some friends and uh, they tell me what they see in them, which is kind of awesome. Wow. Okay, it's about to come off the edges here. And uh, I'm not afraid to have some negative space on my pictures. My friend uh, Michelle, when she pours hers, she likes to have it all covered. And I'm perfectly fine with having uh, the corners with the negative space or even a little bit more than just the corners, so. Look at that. I'm probably over tilting. Some of you are probably going, oh no, look what she's doing. But that's okay. This was an experiment. So yeah. The other thing that uh, I'm trying to pay attention and remember is uh, Wiping the bottoms off so that the paint doesn't pull all the way off. There you go. What do you guys think for my first attempt at a video? <laughs> uh, once again, it's uh, Robbie in Saskatchewan. Uh, yeah. 
looking for some feedback from some of you veterans out there. And of course, if everybody uh, is supportive, I'm going to continue to do videos. We'll see what happens. Have a great weekend.